peekaboo. Pika, 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 unicorn. We know Sparkle. There are several books about Sparkle, but this one, the title tells us, A Unicorn Named Sparkle's First Christmas. Oh boy, is he in for some excitement. Maybe a little bit of disappointment. We will find out. So it's Sparkle's First Christmas. This book was written and illustrated by Amy Young and published by Farah Strauss Giroux. Here we go, friends. Sparkle and Lucy were making a snowman. Sparkle, it's almost Christmas. They started making a snow unicorn. Do you know what Christmas means, Lucy asked. Sparkle wiggled his tail and looked at her. It means Christmas trees and Christmas cookies and Christmas stockings hanging by the fire and Christmas carols. But best of all, it means Christmas presents. Lots and lots of presents. Here's how it works. I will get presents for you and you will get presents for me. Look, I made you a list to make it easier. You can use your allowance. Lucy showed Sparkle where the toy store was and then she went to the unicorn store. She got Sparkle a bottle of unicorn horn polish. Meanwhile, Sparkle noticed some birds near the toy store. Lucy got Sparkle a box of rainbow ribbon candy. Sparkle chased the birds. Lucy got Sparkle a stuffed unicorn. The birds chased Sparkle. Lucy said, I'm done. She went to get Sparkle. Gee, you are fast. Where are your packages? Lucy realized that if Sparkle had gotten her a bike or a jungle gym, it would be too big to carry. Oh, you probably had them delivered. That was smart. When they got home, Lucy wrapped her presents for Sparkle. Did the store deliver the packages yet? If it did, you can wrap your presents to me. I won't peek. Sparkle didn't move. Or maybe you had them gift wrapped. Good thinking. Look, Sparkle, how our stockings are hung up and the Christmas tree is decorated. Let's put the presents under it. Lucy tucked her three presents for Sparkle under a branch. Sparkle scratched his butt. Um, maybe your presents for me aren't here yet? Well, that's okay. You can put them out on Christmas morning. The next day, they went sledding with their friends, Cole and Shayla. Then they decorated cookies. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. On the morning of Christmas Eve, Lucy and Sparkle went skating. At night, they went caroling. Sparkle, Christmas is tomorrow. Lucy woke up very early. Sparkle, it's Christmas. Let's open our presents. First, they emptied their stockings from Santa. Then Sparkle opened his presents from Lucy. Lucy was looking for Sparkle's presents for her, but then her mom and dad woke up, so it was time to open up everything. Is that all? Lucy looked through the piles of ribbons and bows and boxes and toys. Where are my presents from you, Sparkle? No presents? That's not fair. Sparkle nibbled on the tree. Cut that out.
Buzz Sparkle did not stop. He pulled and pulled until he had pulled the whole tree down. Then he ate the stockings. Sparkle, what have you done? Sparkle stopped. He came over and gave Lucy a little lick. Go away, you have ruined Christmas. You are not my best friend anymore, do you hear me? Sparkle sat down. He hung his head, he sniffled. A shiny teardrop rolled slowly down his furry nose and splashed on the floor. Lucy felt terrible. I'm sorry, Sparkle. More tears fell. Big, magical, rainbow unicorn tears. You didn't ruin Christmas. I can fix the tree and we can get new stockings next year. Please don't cry, Sparkle. I was mad because you didn't get me anything. But you didn't mean to hurt my feelings, did you? I still love you and we are still best friends. Sparkle bleated and did a little dance. Lucy laughed and danced with him. As Lucy put the tree up again, she noticed a small package she hadn't seen before. What's this? She opened it. Oh, Sparkle. She hugged him tight. This is the best Christmas ever. And you are my best friend. Sparkle gave her a big lick. Then he ate his unicorn horn polish. Merry Christmas, Sparkle. Oh, I'm glad they were able to be best friends. I miss you, friends. Mwah.